ready? One, two, three. Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be cel celebrating the one year anniversary of Linux Panic. It has now been, well, at the point of this video going live, it would have been over a year since I started making videos on YouTube. Starting all the way back with a how to install Arch Linux. Now, if you go all the way back to the first video, you can clearly tell the difference between Nick a year ago and Nick now. Huge difference, the videos have changed massively. But first off, I would like to thank you all that have chosen to be here along with me along this journey that has stretched a year and I've grown so much and I cannot thank you all. I've come from nothing to where I am now. I've passed, I've passed 50,000 views this week. I 2300 watch hours and nearly 500 subscribers this is insane and i cannot thank you all enough and for that i'm going to be hosting a minecraft server for you all until the end of the year so until december 31st or until something comes up that prevents it we will we will, we will be running until the end of the year so let's begin with it so first thing we need to do is log into the server with the username and password I didn't accidentally fudge a number. I fudged part of the password. Fat fingers. There we go. Once that's done and logged in, we need to do a clear. Do a neo fetch if I can spell neo fetch correctly. Currently running Ubuntu version 20.04.5 with running on a Acer Aspire A515. Dash 43 version 1.10, so this is running on a laptop with a AMD Ryzen 3 3200U with Radeon Vega Mobile graphics with four graphics cores, well, with four, with four cores overall. With there is eight gigs of RAM in that system, but for some reason it's only recognizing 5940 MIBI bytes, so six gigs of RAM. I'll need to investigate that at some point, but neither here nor there. So first thing that we're going to do is clear and have a look at what Java version we have. So we'll do Java Java or Java hyphen hyphen version and it's going to say at the top of the screen open JDK 11.0.16 uh, with the open JDK runtime environment being uh, build 11 post Ubuntu uh, Ubuntu 120.04. So, because the Minecraft server we will be running will be Paper Minecraft version 19, well, version 1.19, we need uh, Java Open JDK version 17. Because for anything below Minecraft server version 1.17, uh, you need Open JDK 8. For Minecraft server version 1.17 to 1.18, you need a JDK 16, and for anything above one, uh, anything 119 and up, you need JDK 17. So that's what we're going to get. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do sudo apt install open JDK hyphen 17 hyphen JDK hyphen headless. So this is just going to say, hey, look, this is going to be run in headless without a GUI, so don't bother downloading any GUI or anything you need for that. Oop. Make sure we enter the password incorrectly. So as we can see, it's just going to install 445 megabytes worth of data, so that's going to be uh, open JDK 17 demo source, uh, libn, ss, mdns, uh, fonts deja vu, fonts ipa, uh, font gothic, uh, font mincho, Fonts WKI Micro High fonts. Well, it just uh, it appears to be more fonts than it is actually Java that it's downloading. So as we can see here at the bottom of the screen, it's currently going through the process of downloading and setting everything up. I do like how the progress bar just stretches across the screen, and I can now actually see this because I was doing this earlier on, but I lost the footage due to uh, the camera deciding it didn't want to focus anymore. So this is the third attempt. So now that we have installed this, we want to do Java version again. And we currently have Java's OpenJDK 17. 
we want to do clear and we want to have a look for our directory and we see we have a folder called paper you can't see it because it's you know looks a bit dodgy because it's a uh, blue on a uh, different color background so it is what it is uh, we do have NeoFetch installed so that's what it looks like now and what we're going to do is we want to do a clear screen we want to CD into paper uh, ls li and as we can see here we have a load of jar files one of them being paper the rest of the jar files are plugins that we are going to be using later on so the first thing that we want to do is we need to run it and on first run it's not going to it's not going to actually do anything because it's going to say hey look you need to run a you need to accept the EULA so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say hey look run the ja run this as a java process with a maximum with a capital x lowercase m uh, well we need to do sorry so it's java hyphen capital x lowercase m lowercase x we're going to give two gigabytes worth of ram to this process hyphen jar so this is expecting a dot jar file we're going to do p a paper hit tab until it populates the paper and now we're going to do hyphen hyphen no GUI and we will just call this hyphen hyphen world and then we're going to call it uh, LP so Linux panic hit enter what this is going to do is now going to download the Mojang uh, or my, my, uh, the Minecraft server from Mojang it's going to apply any patches and it's going to start the downloading process and prepare for everything but it's going to say hey look I couldn't load any properties because we haven't accepted the EULA because we haven't accepted the EULA it didn't download the server properties so if we do ls-li we can see we have a load of things server properties has now appeared and we have an EULA.txt without a completed EULA so we want to do vi EULA Dot txt hit enter so this is just vim insert change that false to a true control c colon right quit exclamation mark done clear vi server dot properties and as we can see here is our server properties so let's change a couple things around to begin with so uh, do, 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 do. Online mode true, max play is 20 for the time being, difficulty, we're going to change that to a normal, we need to do in, insert, difficulty, normal, pvp true, yep, minecraft server, um, welcome to the Linux panic, minecraft server. So there's that, that will appear. Game mode is survival. We're not touching the generator settings. Um, we're not going to touch the monitoring. Command block is currently off. And this is, you know, if we want to change some stuff. So maximum tick time, uh, network compression, resource pack file, because we don't, well, because we're not actually running any resource packs, so that we're not going to touch that. Uh, allow flight false so even I can't use this we're going to turn this down to a range of six so you'll only be able to see six but it's going to make the server run a bit more make the server run a bit better should I say no resource pack hello Luna yes I'm here sweetie the cat it might come say hello so that might cause some issues debug false force game mode hard, hardcore no whitelist no spawn NPCs true preview chat spawn animals true yes because we want them Spawn monsters true and force wastes no because there is no whitelist. Spawn protection will be uh, we will go for 200 blocks away from spawn. Max world size yes. Resource pack SHA because we're not running a resource pack we don't need that. And I'm going to change the max build height if I can find it. Hello Luna yes how you doing sweetie? I think Luna's going to come say hello. Yes hello sweetie how you doing? Right. Now that we've changed our thing around, we want to do this. Right, quit. Enter. And now we want to run the server. Hello, Luna. How you doing, sweetie? Hello. Hello, Luna. How you doing? 
Are you doing okay, Luna? Are you happy now? Are you a happy are you a happy caddy now? Hmm? Are you a happy girl now? So Luna's decided that she's now happy. So as we can see the Minecraft server is currently launching and it is running version 1.19 or 1.19.2. It's loaded seven recipes, running paper version uh, git hyphen paper hyphen 256, which is you know the latest version of Minecraft and the latest version, and we're now currently done. So we want to do save all. This may take a moment and then quit. I want to do stop, and it's going to go through the process of stopping the server. We want to clear ls hyphen la, and we want to install our plugins. So you may have seen a load of red here. That's because we need to put that into our plugins folder. Hi, Luna. Yes, I know, sweetie. How you doing? You stay, you stay there. You stay there, Luna. So we need to do move. Playtimes.jar. And plugmanx. Protocol lib. Vanish no packet. Okay. I said vanish no packet. We'll move that one later. And themis dot jar and clear lag dot jar because we're gonna need that core protect dot jar and essentials x. And we want to move that to dot slash plugins. We now have only, only things we now have here is vanish no packets. So we want to do MV vanish no packet. Okay, so things may sound a bit different. My camera battery has died and I'm currently my phone. So if we do alt left, we can see Minecraft is currently running. We need to do alt right, we need to do sudo w install and give it the password. As we can see here, uh, it appears UFW is already installed, which is good. So we want to do sudo UFW allow two five five six five. Hit enter. As we can see, the rules are currently updated, and that is what we currently have. So we need to do IPA, And currently everything is running fine, so we need to make sure this has a static address, which I will set at the router level so it won't change anything. And now we hop over to the computer to have a look at Minecraft. Hello and welcome to the computer portion of this video. So this is now been many, many hours later. Spent some time actually playing on the Minecraft server, playing about, getting it all set up, and Minecraft has decided to load onto the wrong monitor because everybody loves when Minecraft does that. Right, so let's move Minecraft to the correct monitor. Drag, full screen on, done. And as we can see here, currently the Linux Panic Minecraft server, which as we can see here, if we do a quick edit, it's just cyphermatthews.com and that's it. And if we decide to, so we want to jump into it, we can see that it's the sun setting and the live server currently running paper and it is running spectacularly well. So here is, here is in real time. I found some leather in a village. Um, for some reason, I have an unbreaking one and a mending thing and got lucky with a couple shipwrecks. And a village and a uh, jungle temple. Oof. Yeah, no thanks. So we're not going to uh, get involved with that. We'll watch as that has a moment with itself. But of course, on final thing, there is also a world map where you can see how far we got. So this isn't quite as far as I was because it hasn't rendered in the final sections, but. 
Uh, last server I was on, I decided I was going to go west. So this time I decided I wanted to go east. You can see here there was a... Uh, spent a bit of time messing around. I found this and then carried on. But also, you can change it so it looks a bit more geometric. And it looks a bit better. If you ask me, this does look very nice. So one of the villages I found, of course... We can go all the way back to spawn and see this is what spawn looks like. So if you decided you wanted to join the server, that is what spawn would look, look like to you. There's a chest there for boats. There's a chest there filled full of uh, stacks of steak. There's an ender chest, furnace, crafting tail, anvil, and a couple of welcome signs. But overall, this is now a live and very much working version of... My Minecraft server, as I stated earlier on, uh, this will be going on until the end of the year, December 31st. And from there, I will make the file, of, will make the world available for download. But I do hope that you enjoyed this video form. It is significantly different from what I usually do, as you can tell by the camera. Uh, sorry, I with I, ha I had issues with recording so that's why things look a bit different and look not as filled out but hopefully in the future i can do that a bit better but i would like to thank you very much for watching if you made it this far you are amazing um i, I cannot thank you all for being here and helping me progress so I, I i owe it to you guys to carry on and i'm going to carry on so i'd like to thank you very much anyway if you're not already subscribed maybe consider subscribing and uh, given the like button uh click on the notification bell ring if you didn't like this video give that note give the dislike button a click you may you may not be able to see it but i see 100 percent of them i see you may you may only be able to see 50 percent of the like dislike interactions but i see want to see 100 percent of them all at the time anyway so those of whom who are left watching i hope you have a good day Good evening, good night, good whatever it is, wherever you are, goodbye. If you made it to the end, and I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, uh, share this around. Well, I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by April 2023. So uh, yeah, share this around, have a good one, and uh, thank you very much for watching, goodbye.